Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, fixing dialogue at the sample level. All right, fixing dialogue is never fun, but there are a couple of really important things to know about in Premiere Pro to make that easy. The first is that Although this is a video editor, Premiere Pro, you're, you're primarily editing frames of video, you can actually zoom in at the sample level. So that means you're at 48 thousandths of a second that you're zooming into. Okay, let's go have a look. So in this dialogue here, if we listen to it, I wanna get rid of that little lip smacking. It's a motif. Right there. So if we zoom in, we will hit a frame level. And if I wanted to get rid of that little peak, but not the thing before it, I can't do that. There's a couple of other things to look at here. In the little flyout menu for uh, the timeline, you can turn on or off rectified audio waveforms. And when you turn this off, now it looks like your typical waveforms. There's also something in here to help you see very quiet video, and that's this logarithmic waveform scaling. When I turn that off, you can see it almost disappears. I'm not changing the actual level. I'm just changing how it's shown so it's easier to see. All right, so by default, we're at frame markers here, frame ruler units. If you click in here and choose show audio time units, boom, look at this. Now I'm moving at a sample level. And if you combine this with the maximize frame, so that's the tilt key on North American keyboards, using my scroll wheel, moving this up, sweet mama, look at this. I'll zoom, 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 zoom. I'm down at the sample level. I could even go further if I want, all the way down into here. And while I'm in here, uh, I'm just gonna show you how detailed we can get. I could, I'm working on the audio uh, waveform. I could be drawing in waveforms, drawing in keyframes rather, and dropping this down. And we, we zoom out. You know, if I go back to regular frames, I now have, I've drawn a keyframe in there below that level. Pretty cool. Now, the, the lip smacking is a little bit wider than that, but I just wanted to show you that. Uh, you can get into a sample level and see that. All right, let me reset my workspace and let's look at another problem here. So in this particular dialogue, two cars and the I want to get rid of him saying, hmm. All right, so let's listen to this. Hmm, that little. Now, I might not have to go down to sample level for this. All right, I want to show you how I would fix this by copying and pasting a piece of the room tone that's already in there. This one is so easy and I use it to fix my stuff all the time. I even use it when I accidentally said turn off and I meant turn on, I'll take the word on and I'll stick it on the word off and it's seamless. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over to the original clip here because if I change the in and out point by double clicking here, it's gonna change the end point of that clip. So let me load the master clip again and I'll go over here and I'll find some silence. All right, there's some silence. I'll set an in point and I'll set an out point, and I'll just drag over here for the sound wave. So let me zoom in a little bit here and find that point. And I'm gonna drag the sound wave over top of this. Oh, actually it was the hmm that I wanted to get rid of. So let me drag this over the hmm. And now let's watch. Oh. 
Holy smokes, I tell you, I use that all the time. It only works, um, or it works that easy, only if you have the some dead air um, in that same clip. And hopefully you do before or after you run, as long as this, the background noise is the same. And here there's a fire crackling. And in my room tone, it's the exact same room tone happening all the time. All right, so that's some dialogue fixing tricks. One drag and drop, but one at the sample level. So don't uh, think that you can't get in all the way to those samples and tweak things. Very powerful in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then click on the special link that I have in description for you to go get your 30-day uh, trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.